are you shining just for me? City of stars, there's so much that I can see. Who knows? I felt it from the first embrace I shared with you. That now our dreams may finally come true. City of stars, just one thing everybody wants. They're in the bars and through the smoke screen of the crowded restaurants. It's love. Yes, all we're looking for is love from someone else. A rush, a glance, a touch, a dance, a look in somebody's eyes to light up the skies, to open the world and send it reeling. A voice that says, I'll be here and you'll be all right. I don't care if I know just where I will go Cause all that I need's this crazy feeling A rat-tat-tat on my heart Think I wanted to stay City of stars Are you shining just for me? City of stars, you never shine so brightly. Wouldn't we like to start every morning that way? Thank you so much for providing our entertainment this morning. I love it when we can showcase our students that way. Good morning and welcome to the Student of the Month Breakfast Ceremony. My name is Kelly Dostel and I'm the Assistant Principal for the Class of 2024. It's my pleasure to host this event. It's always one of my favorite things to do uh, because it's such a great opportunity to honor some of our students that are here today as well as meet some of the parents that uh, have the wonderful um, opportunity to send these students to us. We, we really enjoy the, the fact that we can celebrate their accomplishments. The students being honored today will be presented by their nominating teachers, and the teachers will share why their students have been nominated. However, please understand that with teaching schedules, some of our teachers may be sliding out the back door. Um, they need to make it to North or to a first hour class, um, but we want to make sure that you know, they, they have an opportunity to present their students. Our first presenter this morning, I would like to welcome up from our music department, Mr. Matthews. Mr. Matthews. Good morning, everybody. Congrats to the students. Um, I nominated Nick next to me. Uh, he's a freshman student in orchestra. Um, I'm nominating him today for serving our orchestra program and our students for being the lone viola player in our South Campus Chamber Orchestra. It's a small group of enthusiastic musicians who meet Monday nights, and since no other viola player signed up, Nick carries the part with good humor and grit, uh, and he is both musically and socially indispensable to us. Any team or group need members like Nick, and we are very lucky to have you. Thank you very much. Our next presenter this morning from our World Language Department, I'd like to welcome Frau Murray.
First, I also want to congratulate all of our Student of the Month students. Um, you guys have made great accomplishments this year. You should be very proud of yourselves. As a world language learner, there are many qualities to be admired, but when you find a student who exceeds the criteria for an amazing language learner and a leader in your class, that's a two for one deal in my book. Andrew is not only one of the most outstanding German language learners, but also a real leader in our German family. I don't know if he realizes it, but I see it in myself every day when you are in class. He models great language learning skills, such as participating frequently and with 110% in the target language. He asks great questions, which in turn encourages his classmates to also ask questions. He can be partnered with anyone because he's incredibly supportive of his peers and works well with everyone and brings a positive attitude to our class every day. He's ready to learn and expand on his global perspective. And our German family is small but mighty, and one of the reasons it can stand so strong is because of students like Andrew, who hold a foundation to our principles and values as a family. Congratulations. <laughs> Frau Mori is certainly true that it is a small but mighty department with our German language <laughs> learners. Um, our next presenter this morning uh, from Student Services, I'd like to welcome up um, is Abby Chaplin and Daniela Gutierrez, who will be presenting one of their students. Good morning, everybody. Congratulations to all the student recipients here today. Uh, my name is Abby Chaplin, and this is Daniela Gutierrez, and we're representatives from the uh, Student Services Department. This is Caleb Walters. Um, he is a student in our Life and Work Skills Program. Caleb's job coaches um, report, myself included, that he is a wonderful worker. He's efficient, motivated, and always positive. He greets others um, when he enters a workplace. He exhibits a great work, work ethic and has been a very positive role model for the younger students in the class. Additionally, Caleb has done an exemplary job of adjusting to a new schedule that includes time spent at North Campus this year. Um, he splits his day, which results in a commute within his day, um, and this has been a big change for Caleb, but he has handled it well and with a tremendous amount of flexibility. Congratulations to Caleb. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Caleb. You even got a twofer with your teachers today. Wow. All right. Our next presenter coming up is from our Family and Consumer Science Department. I'd like to welcome up Ms. Martha Elliott. Ms. Elliott. Ms. Elliott's student is not here, um, but what she's going to do is uh, say a few words about them, and that way when the video is out, uh, they'll have an opportunity to, to hear what she has to say. Um, I have the pleasure of honoring um, Avi Gonzalez. She actually is in two of my classes. She's in my culinary arts class and my intro to family and consumer science careers. And she is a very kind-hearted person and is always willing to help others in class, and um, as well as her teammates in her lab. Uh, the class is set up in lab groups so that they have to work as a team. She is a leader in a small and simple ways. Um, she encourages people to do the right thing. She encourages people to do what needs to be done in order to complete the task at hand. Um, she's really prepared in class. She makes sure she knows the recipe so that they're able to do what needs to be done because 48 minutes goes very, very fast in a culinary arts class. She always is wearing a smile and has a positive attitude, and I am lucky to have um, not her just once a day, but twice a day. So that's the reason I am honoring Avi today. Our next presenter this morning, I'd like to welcome up from our Applied Technology Department, Mr. Josh Nabasny. Mr. Nabasny. Uh, I'd like to start out by saying happy Friday. We made it through the week. This has been a long week with the weather and everything. Um, my name is Josh Nabazzi. I'm one of the applied tech teachers here. I teach woodworking and automotives. I got the opportunity to uh, nominate Daniel for my small engines class and my furniture and cabinet making class. So he has me for two periods a day, which is a lot. You could ask him. Um, so both classes are extremely hands-on. 
Um, we are working every single day and it allows students to express a passion that they don't get from other classes. Daniel was chosen because I have seen him tear down and almost finish rebuilding a motor. We're working on that right now. Tear down and rebuild multiple carburetors, machine pretty much every type of wood, part of wood in the wood shop to build a blanket chest. Um, he has gone above and beyond every other student in the class and has really pushed himself to make everything perfect. Um, his ambition, his work ethic, his, his attention to detail, fill in 20 more compliments right after that. That's just a couple reasons that he's up here today. I'd like to congratulate Daniel on student of the month and you get an awesome certificate and a bag of goodies. <laughs> of you are wishing that he was at your house doing all of your home improvement projects. Hmm. All right, our next presenter this morning, I'd like to welcome up from our mathematics department, Ms. Uh, Becky Sturdy. Ms. Sturdy. Good morning. So I have nominated Nayeli, and she's a student in my geometry honors class. And I nominated her because every day she comes to class with a smile and is ready to tackle whatever lessons are planned for the day. She regularly, regularly completes her assignments and assessments with very high marks and encourages all her classmates to do the same. Nayeli is enthusiastic to learn and collaborate with her peers. We do a lot of group work and she will work with anybody in her group and then she'll help the group next to her if they need help. She asks good questions every day and shares her ideas with, her, with me and her other students. Her love of learning is what makes my job at LT so rewarding. Thank you, Nayeli, for being such a fantastic student. Congratulations, Nayeli. Honors geometry, really? Woo. All right. Um, our next presenter this morning from our social studies department, I'd like to welcome up Ms. Allie Laskowski. Ms. Laskowski. Good morning, everyone. So I am nominating Alyssa Hobbs for Student of the Month this month. I have had the pleasure of teaching her in my world history class, and she has been such a delight. She is asking questions every day that oftentimes I don't even know the answer to, so I have to go and research it and get back to her. So she's always pushing the course into deeper areas when it comes to the content and just such a positive energy in the room every day. Anything that I share about my own life, she follows up with me the next day and asks how it went. And we all know that high school is not always easy, but you'd never know it by looking at Alyssa. Every day she has a smile on her face and just brings such a light to the class and is always in such a wonderful mood that keeps me in a wonderful mood. So thank you so much for all you do for our class and congratulations. You know, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't have someone else from the Global Studies Department coming up this morning. I'd like to welcome up Ms. Julia uh, Breyer-Smith, uh, who's going to be talking to us about Daniel. Julia. Thank you. All right, so I have the pleasure of introducing to you today Danny Svelness. And um, Danny um, is taking AP Computer Science Principles this semester, and it's a pleasure to have Danny in class. Um, he brings previous experience with the topic, having taken our Python class here last year. Um, and he does well on programs and product, projects, um, but he also shares his knowledge and insights with his classmates. Self-reliance is valuable, but so is making the choice to invest in mutually supportive relationships. And Danny seems to find people he can help and people who can help him. Uh, another thing that makes Danny stand out is um, that he is genuinely eager to learn and he tries to extend what we're doing in the class. I've heard comments from Danny while working in class along the lines of, that's so cool, or what if I, you know, fill in the blank. You know, when I walk by his computer, I often see some twist on the program. Um, something's upside down or some characters flying in or things are changing colors or shapes are inside out or spinning. 
Um, so you're, he's not afraid to innovate and experiment with the programs that he does, which is kind of fun to see. He takes it to the next, the next level. Um, these are all traits I think that we could all use more of. And Danny, I think these will serve you well as you move forward and move on here at LT and beyond. So thanks for being such a positive to addition to our class and we're happy to honor your efforts today. Congratulations. Good morning. I would like to introduce you to artist, or AJ, who was presented by Ms. Kutchner, who's one of our uh, student services uh, counselors. And I would like to introduce her student. AJ is a wonderful young man with a positive attitude with goals to become heavily involved in the LT community. He is a member of the 2025 class board and attends as many extracurricular activities that LT has to offer. He is smart, funny, and very outgoing. Every time I see AJ in the hall or at an event, he has a smile on his face and is constantly volunteering his time. I'm so happy to be able to recognize him as the Student Services Student of the Month. Congratulations, AJ. <laughs> Ms. Kushner will present him with a certificate, I'm sure, in the Student Services office to um, make sure he's properly recognized there as well. Our next presenter this morning who's going to be helping me out is Mr. Greg Gardner. He is the associate principal here at South Campus. Mr. Gardner. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Greg Gardner, associate principal here, and I am presenting on behalf of Ms. Salah, and we are recognizing Kenny Bach. Kenny, come, come on, on up. up. And so I'm going to read here what uh, Ms. Salah has shared about Kenny. Uh, Kenny is one of the most empathetic, um, empathetic, kind students I have ever met. He takes initiative in aiding his peers, communicating with others, and genuinely being a good person. He talks to all students and is always willing to offer a helping hand. On top of that, Kenny has a wonderful sense of humor that brings laughter and smiles to class. For eighth period, when most students could be the most tired, Kenny brings a bout of energy that spreads throughout the class. For this reason, we're going to recognize Kenny today. And I am quite certain Ms. Salah will make a presentation in class. Right. Um, our next presenter this morning from our uh, physical education department, I'd like to welcome up Mr. Brian Aliosio. Did I get it close? Oh. <laughs> I have best friend that still can't say it right, oh. so you're good. All those vowels. Yeah, oh yeah, tricky. Uh, so on a day so gloomy, um, it's awesome to have the light um, from you guys kind of make this Friday really shining, so congratulations to everybody. Um, I'd like to introduce Reed. Uh, Reed has been an absolute pleasure to have in class. Uh, looking beyond his high academic marks in PE, uh, Reed has demonstrated the valuable leadership qualities that you all, that we all love to see in our students. Uh, he's extremely attentive and always is the first one to respond to any given direction uh, that I give to the class, uh, which acts as a uh, model example for all of his classmates. Uh, he demonstrates a high level of respect to not only his teachers, uh, his peers, but anyone he comes into contact with. Uh, he's very selfless and places the needs of others in, uh, in front of his own. Um, just yesterday in pickleball, uh, we're doing our pickleball unit, um, he's on the court number one and uh, during gameplay he's actually helping the other team to make sure that they're um, understanding the concepts and the rules and um, you know he's always making sure that He's going out of his way for everybody else. Um, his willingness to cooperate goes unnoticed. Um, he leads by example. His attitude, effort, and enthusiasm are infectious to not only me, but everyone around him. Um, and he does it all with a smile, or at least I think he does with a mask. Um, I'm honored to call Reed a student of mine, and I know the sky's the limit for Reed, and I'm excited to see 
uh, the rest of his four years here at LT. So congratulations for you. Okay, so on behalf of the entire art department, Mrs. Kinsey and I would like to recognize Shelby Lawrence, a student who we share and both find to be a spectacular student in the arts. Shelby shined in beginning and intermediate ceramics last year when I um, had the experience of working with Shelby. And I'm glad to hear that Shelby's doing well this semester in jewelry and metal smithing class with Mrs. Kinsey. But it doesn't surprise me to hear that. I've been very impressed in many ways. And I'm so glad to have this opportunity to share them with you. I really sympathize with LT's freshman students last year who were experiencing their first year in this awesome school much differently than usual. Because of remote hybrid learning, it was challenging to meet new people, connect with peers and teachers and clubs and activities and gather as schoolmates. However, Shelby always went out of the way to be friendly and chatty with myself and peers and made it easy for students to connect with each other in the classroom and during the open studio time in the classroom. Shelby's bubbly personality got the conversations going and helped so much in making our ceramics classroom a welcoming place. Shelby stayed behind often and put a lot of extra time in the artwork or helped with the studio. The best was made of the COVID situation. And because of that, Shelby excelled in art and as a first year student at LT. Shelby is a wonderful student in person that can be seen in the beautiful artwork that I'm sharing here. And it can also be seen in the connections made in the first year of school here at Alliance Township High School. Mrs. Kinsey and I are proud and are very happy to have Shelby as a student. So on behalf of us both and the entire art department, thank you Shelby for being you um, and congratulations on being our fine art student of the month. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Mrs. Jackson Fouth and I just wanna say a few words about Carly. Um, she is a great student. She is driven to uh, do well and, and she works very hard and um, she always wants to do her best. And she works really great with all, all other students and, and is such a value to the classroom. She's curious and wants to ask questions and participate every day. And it's really great to have her in class. So congratulations, Carly. That's going to conclude our student of the month ceremony this morning. But before we leave, I'd like to say, thank the following people. I'd like to thank LTTV and Candy Faye for filming our ceremony today. Pay attention very shortly. There will be a video. I'd like to thank Ms. Natasha Lum for providing such wonderful entertainment for our listening this morning. Thank you, Natasha. A big shout out to Vicki Parody in the back corner. She's my assistant who really puts this whole thing together and there's no way I could do this without you. Thank you, Vicki. And to our students here today, I would like to congratulate you. LT can sometimes feel like a big place, but you've done something that made a teacher think that you are really, really special. And the fact that they went out of their way to write the nomination and really um, think about the students that they have, and you kind of rose to the top, and that's huge. So congratulations. I think that's a wonderful, wonderful trait. Um, many things that I've heard today are things like hard work, commitment, um, laughter, uh, integrity, thoughtfulness. All of those things really have set you apart from some of your peers, and we're glad to have you here. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank and congratulate the parents who are here. Without your continual support and commitment, we wouldn't have such fine citizens to recognize today. So thank you again for coming. We are gonna do a group picture. If we could please have all the students come up in front of the wall here. I'm gonna move this table out of the way. Parents, if you'd like to take a group shot, feel free. But this will be what uh, will be on the website in a little bit. So students, if you'll step right up here.